So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 17 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it. From the outside though, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of it first of all. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we've got plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so I'm just going to work my way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside as I mentioned. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in lovely condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the centre at the bottom, the fuel gauge, and above that, the main trip computer, which includes the total miles for this car. They are 33,025. You can change the information that's displayed there uh, by using the button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we have stereo and phone controls and cruise control. And then over into the center, the main uh, stereo unit, if you like, and then the screen for that uh, above it. So you can see there, you're able to pair your phone. When it comes to music, we have, of course, got the radio. So you can see FM, uh, we've got DAB radio as well, and also AM. If you listen to your own music, you've got the CD player. We've got USB input. We've also got Bluetooth audio, so plenty of ways to listen to your music. You can see the CD player just there. The main volume for the stereo is here. Below this, we have the climate control. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, of course, the direction the air is being distributed in. When you're happy with those settings, your air conditioning is on at the moment. That's off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly in here, depending on the temperature you've set. You can also hit auto. The car will now take full control of everything apart from the temperature. So it will maintain this temperature for you. We have a heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen. This button turns off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic, which in turn will save you fuel. That system is off when that light shows. We have a five speed manual gearbox, a 12 volt charging socket and USB input down there for your music as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.